So let's see this one, okay? This is uh, electrolysis of copper 2 sulfate, yeah, copper 2 sulfate. Uh, the ion that presents, the ion that presents is a copper ion and sulfate ions, uh, okay? Copper ions and sulfate ion and hydrogens and hydroxide form water. Copper and uh, hydroxide, okay, so will be selected to be discharged, okay? Because these two are lower in electrochemical series, uh, provided that you use inert electrode. If you use inert electrodes, uh, copper will be selected to be discharged around, uh, this one is cathodes and anodes, hydroxide will be selected to be discharged. If you use inert electrode, but this case, uh, we do not use inert electrodes. Instead, we use copper. Inert means uh, carbon or platinum. Uh. If you use carbon platinum, then these are the two ions will be selected to be discharged. But this case, we do not use copper or platinum. We use copper. Uh, sorry, we do not use carbon and platinum. Uh, we, we use copper. Copper is active electrode. It will take part in the chemical reactions. How does this uh, copper take part? Okay. Uh, so let's see this one first. Okay, if you use carbon electrode, okay, carbon electrodes are the ions that presence at anodes, it's a sulfate and a hydroxide. Okay, hydroxide will be selected at a cathodes. There are copper and a hydrogen ion, and a copper will be selected. So anode uh, hydroxide to be selected, then it will form oxygens and water. Okay, and release uh, four electrons. Eh? So this is what happens at uh, anodes. And at cathodes, uh, copper will be selected. Okay, copper to be selected. Then you form copper metals. Uh, that is what happens uh, if we use carbon electrodes. Eh? Carbon electrodes, okay. Um, so these are the observations. Eh? Observations. Uh, oxygen gas release, so it's a colorless gas and uh, it can rekindle glowing wooden splinter, okay. And a uh, copper metal is brown in color, so brown solid deposits around the cathodes. Okay, this one is if you use carbon electrode. Eh? Now then how about we if we use copper electrodes? Eh? Copper electrodes, the ion is still the same. The ion is still the same. This one hydroxide, and uh, this one is uh, copper ions and hydrogen ions, okay? At cathode, still the same thing, okay? Copper will be selected to be discharged. Okay, so copper ions, okay, it will receive electrons to form copper metals. This one, no problems. Eh? Then how about A node? How about A nodes? Eh? Okay, so let's see the observation first. Eh? Observations first. The copper electrode dissolve into the solutions. Okay, you see, both sulfate and hydroxide are not selected to be discharged. This one is not selected and this one also not selected. Instead, the copper electrode itself take part in the chemical reactions. The copper electrode dissolve into the solutions. Eh? Okay, so initially um, the copper electrode look something like this. Okay, but after the reactions, it corrodes. Eh? It, it become thinner. It corrodes. It becomes something like this. So it dissolve. Part of it dissolve into the solutions. Uh, cathode. The observation is still the same. Eh? Okay, it's a uh, uh, the cathode become thicker. I'll explain to you why the, the cathode becomes thicker later, okay? So, you see, uh, if we use active electrodes, uh, active electrodes, the cathodes still the same. Still the same, uh, okay? The copper ion will be selected to be discharged to form copper metal. This one is still the same. But at A nodes, uh, it's different, okay? Because uh, the electrode will take part in the chemical reactions. So what happened is uh, the, the copper atom, uh, because this is copper, Electrode, eh? copper electrode, so it's a co it's copper atom, it's copper metal, eh? copper atoms or copper metals. In these reactions, the copper metals will form copper ions eh? and release electrons. So the copper atoms will react, not sulfate react, not the hydroxide, eh? but the copper atom, the copper electrode itself will react by releasing electrons to form the copper ions. Okay, so the copper electrode dissolve into the solutions okay if we use active electrode like copper okay so at a node the ion is not selected but the electrodes will react the copper electrodes will react okay now another thing that you need to know is the difference of the the observations 
a, a cathode uh, because cathode you see the reaction is the same copper ions form copper atom copper ion form copper atoms uh, the reaction is the same but the observation is not the same why that is because um for carbon electrode uh, carbon electrodes is black in color okay let me use a uh, black color okay so this is carbon electrodes uh, carbon electrodes uh, this is copper electrodes uh, copper electrodes when copper metal is formed okay copper ions it form a uh, copper metal so it receives electrons uh, to form copper metals okay now these copper metals is uh is also brown in color okay it's also brown in color so it's brown in color okay it's brown in color this is a color okay if this copper ion deposit around this uh, carbon electrodes uh, so you see the copper the copper metals deposits around the carbon electrodes that's what you see right okay you, you can see brown solid deposit around the copper electrodes as uh, carbon electrodes sorry okay this carbon electrodes uh, okay that's what you see yeah but if it deposit around the copper electrodes uh, that's what you see that's what you see okay so can you see the difference so for the carbon for the carbon you can see that it become thicker uh, sorry it become a brown color because carbon carbon is black the color is black when there's a brown brown copper deposit on it you can you can obviously see the brown solid but for copper uh, copper metals uh, copper metals uh, because it's already brown the color is already brown so, so when there is a brown color solid deposit on it you, you don't realize uh, you don't realize but you can see it become thicker uh, that's that's the difference between the observation this one the the black color electrodes uh, become brown in color but this one you can only see it become thicker okay but you can't see the brown solid deposit on it eh? So that's the difference of the ob observations. Eh? The brown solid deposits around the cathodes. Okay, this one because the electrode is black. This one, the electrode is already brown, so you can't see the brown color solid deposit, but you can see the the electrodes uh, become thicker. So that's the difference between these two.